This year marks the 90th year of our anniversary. For nine decades, the volunteers of Mississippi Farm Bureau have worked together to better the lives of all Mississippians. From our beginnings in 1922 to nearly 200,000 members today, our organization has grown and strengthened and that our influence is evident in so many places and aspects in this country of the farm life across this state and nation. We have enjoyed a number of outstanding accomplishments, but none can any compare to what we have done in 2011. Can you say eminent domain reform? Thank you very much. That's right. This year we were finally able to get eminent domain reform measure passed that will strengthen our private property law. Initiative 31 passed overwhelmingly because of you, our grassroots leadership. Your effort was strong, sustained, and tireless, and now everyone will benefit. On behalf of the citizens of our great state, I salute you and thank you. You have made a difference in our lives and have shown that watching, watching from around the state, this nation, and the world, there is definitely strength in our numbers. In agriculture, a lot of this past year was about the weather. While many of us experienced unusually hot and dry conditions in the summer months, others received too much rain and unseasonably cool temperatures in the spring. Still others were faced by massive flooding and deadly tornadoes in April and May. The Board of Directors of Mississippi Farm Bureau Foundation and Relief Fund approved collecting funds and assisting the flood victims, flood victims who had uninsured ag losses. Contributions totaled over $100,000. Farm Bureau leaders across this state worked tirelessly to collect food, clothing, and other items for victims of the tornadoes and flooding. They were all very generously donated, donated and also donated hay to the Texas farmers affected by the serious drought. Farm Bureau was able to persuade authorities to relax our hauling regulations for oversized loads so that 18 winners loaded for hay through Mississippi could go to Texas in large numbers. A bright spot in all this weather-related matters is the state and farmers received good news from Washington with the three free trade agreements. These agreements will increase our direct export by $26.5 million a year and approximately 235, 235 jobs. Mississippi farmers will benefit from the open access to these new markets for our poultry, beef, rice, and catfish, just to name a few. On another positive note, we have enjoyed a very successful year in the Mississippi legislature. Foremost was a passage of a bill which makes aggravated cruelty to a domestic dog or cat a felony, which also looks out for the interest of Mississippi livestock producers. This legislation was a product of a compromise between Mississippi Farm Bureau and the Humane Society of America. We are proud of this accomplishment, but we are also aware that we must remain vigilant. We must never allow others to dictate how we should farm and should always, our farming practices must continue to be based on well-researched and science-proven methods of production. And that brings us to another accomplishment of 2011. Farm Bureau is able to see legislation passed that will continue the funding of our Mississippi Ag Land Grant Universities. The importance of agricultural research cannot be overstated. It is crucial to continued success and keep our strength and our nation in agriculture. As we look forward to the 2012 legislative session, I encourage you to talk to your lawmakers about these important issues of Farm Bureau. Also mark your calendar for March 1st, which will be our annual Ag Day at the Capitol. It's an excellent time to come down and tell your legislators thank you for their support. On a national level, in response to Farm Bureau's efforts, the Transportation Department of Transportation's Federal Motor Carrier Administration had announced they had no intentions now of governing transport agricultural products requiring farmers to have CDLs. Farm Bureau was very beneficial and or very outgoing in trying to get these flaws stopped. Also on a national level, the Super Committee's failure to reach a deficit reduction plan for the 2012 Farm Bill will now be approved through the regular process of debating and amending. As we continue to work with this important piece of legislation, we will continue to make sure that Southern agriculture's voice is heard on all fronts. While farmers are aware that agriculture touches everyone's lives, the general public must often be reminded of that fact. In 2012, our Farm Families of Mississippi campaign will gear up for its third year. Talking and telling farmer stories to the consuming public. This year, we intend to add North Mississippi to our efforts. 
Going statewide is very expensive, and we hope you will continue to support this very successful campaign. One way you can do so is by purchasing our new Farm Families Mississippi Vehicle Tag. I'm excited to announce that the Women's Program will conduct a contest designed to encourage people to purchase these tags. The first, second, and third place prizes will be awarded to the Women's Committees for selling the most tags. And if you haven't already agreed to do so, we encourage you to purchase a Farm Families Tag of Mississippi. We also encourage you to take advantage of our newest member benefit. We welcome the Ford Motor Company into our Mississippi Farm Bureau family. You can now receive a $500 discount on most all Ford cars and trucks. This program replaces the old Dodge program that was discontinued earlier this year. In 2012, a committee compromised compromise of past and present young farmer leaders began discussing our way to strengthen our farmer and rancher, young farmer and rancher program. As a result of these efforts, a full-time young farmer and rancher coordinator was hired. A young farmer and rancher's alumni group was being or, is being organized, and we look forward to hearing great things from our young farmer and ranchers program in the coming year. Also this year, Farm Bureau introduced a modernized version of its of our county service agreement, the new county and facilities agreement, and a uniform, uniform cooperative agreement to maintain the basic relationship between Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation, the county farm bureaus, and the Mississippi Farm Bureau Insurance, operating from our county farm bureau offices. These agreements also protect and provide the farm bureau tax exempt status. With the timely implication of these new service agreements, we look forward to moving ahead. The state office has also reviewed all its legal documents, and we encourage all the counties to do likewise. The weather of 2012 had a negative impact on our Mississippi property and casualty operation, resulting in both operation and in the year with an underwriting loss. You know, we started out probably the best three months we'd ever started out in 2011, only to have the next three months probably as bad a three months as we could have ever had. Our casualty operation will likely finish the year with a combined ratio of around 104%. These results have been impacted by the spring storms in Mississippi as well as receiving losses from Mississippi's share of the Southern Farm Bureau casualty participation in American Ag Insurance. Our property operation will end up with a combined ratio between 112 and 115 percent range. These results were driven by storm losses that will exceed $57 million. The largest loss of $36 million was the deadly tornado outbreak in April the 25th through the 27th. We will end the year with a modest loss of surplus but will remain well capitalized for the future. In conclusion, I want to thank you for making my first year such a rewarding experience. I have traveled to stay getting to know you and have brought your suggestions back to Jackson to help develop our programs that will better serve you, including the grassroots volunteers in your leadership program and process important to me. Don't you ever think you can't talk to me about a problem and that we can't find a solution. I'm looking forward to working with you in the coming year and growing our Farm Bureau membership. We often tend to become complacent about the size and the scope of our organization until we are shown what, what numbers can do, what a large network of dedicated volunteers can really do. As we are reminded, clearly and mistakenly, that we can indeed move mountains. We will continue to work diligently to have a successful year in 2012. Thank you very much.